The Russians have lost 1,210 soldiers and 164 pieces of military equipment over the past day. General Staff of Ukraine's Armed Forces said this on Facebook. Ukraine said its forces are fighting an intensifying Russian offensive in the Kharkiv region. Moscow's troops were reportedly attacking Ukrainian positions in the northern districts of Vovchansk, some 5 kilometers from the Russian border, though Kiev said it was holding off the advance. Ukrainian defense forces have successfully disrupted Russian military plans to deeply entrench themselves in the northern urban areas of Vovchansk, according to the General Staff of Ukraine's armed forces. Despite aggressive attempts by Russian troops to secure and fortify positions within the city, Ukrainian units have maintained active combat roles and kept the opposing forces under strict fire control. The Ukrainian defense forces have taken decisive actions to significantly reduce the activity of the Russian occupiers, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine wrote on Facebook. The enemy's plans to penetrate as deep as possible into the urban area of Vovchansk and gain a foothold there have been disrupted. The situation is under control, he added. Russia began an operation in the northeastern region last week, marking its most significant border incursion since the full-scale invasion began in 2022. People are fleeing the areas of active hostilities en masse in the Kharkiv region, with evacuations underway coordinated by local authorities and humanitarian groups. Russia is increasing units in northeastern Sumy region as it's preparing for major offensive on Ukraine in coming weeks. According to estimates of analysts, Russia's ongoing offensive on Kharkiv appears to be aimed at drawing Ukraine's limited reserves into the fight ahead of the main summer push in the coming weeks. Russia opened second front in northeastern Kharkiv region last week. Ukrainian armed forces have already been stationed along more than 1,000 kilometers of front line. The Ukrainian command informed NATO of the serious situation on the battlefield caused by delays in the supply of weapons. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky who visited the city of Kharkiv on Thursday, said the situation in the northeast was under control. We are working in detail with our partners to provide, in particular, Kharkiv, Donetsk, Sumy and other regions with more basic defense, namely air defense systems and sufficient long-range weapons, Zelensky said. He said that after returning to Kiev, he spoke with Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk about Ukraine's needs, about Patriot systems that could significantly change the situation in the Kharkiv direction. The attack launched on Kharkiv late last week, was the most significant border incursion since the full-scale invasion began. In just two days, Moscow has captured from 100 to 125 square kilometers that include at least seven villages, most of them already depopulated, according to two open-source monitoring analysts. Radio Svoboda shows higher quality satellite images of Belbek airfield. The satellite images were taken over the airfield in Crimea on May 16. There was a fire in the parking lots of Su-27. Su-30 and MiG-31 aircraft. There may be more than three affected planes, as the satellite image does not show all the damage from the cluster warhead. The pictures also show the burnt-out warehouse of ammunition. Satellite images of the consequences of an Atikms cluster missile strike on the Belbek airfield. Traces of fire can be seen at the parking places of two MiG-31s and the ammunition warehouse. The news outlet KRYM Realii, which is part of US-funded network Radio Free Liberty, said the attack was carried out in two waves, and after the second, several explosions similar to detonation were heard. KRYM Realii said that its data showed that at the airfield were based 12 Sukhoi Su-27 aircraft, 12 Sukhoi Su-27SM aircraft, and 3 Sukhoi Su-27UB combat training aircraft as well as five two-seat Sukhoi Su-30M2, a total of 32 jets. The post did not outline whether the aircraft were damaged and that, it is unclear whether the fire was caused by a missile strike. The exact number of missiles involved is unclear, but Russian military blogger Rybar said the attack involved 16 Atikms missiles, which last month the US said it had given Kiev. 
Unfortunately, one or two missiles could not be shot down and the consequences of this have been revealed to the whole world, thanks to the publication of a video from a CCTV camera, the Post said. How and why this is still possible in the third year of the war has long been a rhetorical question. The Russian Defense Ministry said that its air defenses had thwarted the attack by downing 10 long-range missiles. Local residents told the ASTRA Telegram channel that there were about 20 missiles fired. 